Hello everyone, it's Aisha Madonna and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, I usually don't remember what happened in the last episode, so we're just going to get straight into this by starting with my name. This is how you spell my name, by the way. Well, you probably see already in my name, but on the title, so... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I sometimes just ask questions. Hmm. Um, some of you may be wondering, how do you say your name? Because one of my friends, um, when I first met him on the live stream, um, um, we got the name then eventually, but, um, you know, just to let you know, not being rude to you, of course, it's Shay. So, you may think it's like, sh, and then a. Shay. Just like it's almost like S H A Y, if that makes any sense. But instead of A Y, it's E A. Yes? Silly thing. <laughs> Sorry, that is really cringy. So it's Shay McDonald. Okay? Just thought you should know. Alright, let's get into this. I'm feeling really good today. Right, here we go. 15 questions, 1 million pounds, 3 life lines, Just recording the best scene for episode, and that went really well. Audience, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth 100 pounds. Give it to me, please. Which of these is a disparaging term for socialist? Mad middle. Raving right. Centrist centre. Movie left. <laughs> um, is it, I don't know, raving right? It's the easiest question of the lot. No. Nope. I forgot it wrong. Oh, you got it wrong. I got it wrong. wrong. I've never heard of uni now. I've never heard of any of those in my life. But you're leaving with absolutely nothing. Really tough luck. Uni, I've ne seriously, I promise you, Maybe I've never heard of the loony left. Never have in my entire life. Never. But hey, I'm feeling good, so it doesn't really bother me too much. So, let's just save, of course. There we go. Come on. There we go, I thought it first. Let's try again. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth... £100. Alright. Which of these makes announcements at large formal gatherings? Toastmaster. Will Herald. Bake Barker. Smoke Crier. That would be a Toastmaster because when they say, I'd like to make a toast, you got £100. then that's a hate Toastmaster. Or could be Toastmistress also, just maybe. Here's question two, it's worth 200 Sorry. pounds. Which word means somebody who shoots at people from a concealed position? Snooper. Snitcher. Sneaker. Sniper. That would be a sniper. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. Cool, there we are. All right, we're good. Here's question number three for three hundred pounds. Okay. A very distressed person is said to be hard. Burned. Battered. Broken. Burst. Heartbroken. Well done. You've got three hundred pounds. Question four of fifteen coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time. Have a look at this for five hundred pounds. Which of these expressions refers to excessive bureaucracy? Bureaucracy. Tape deck. Tape measure. Red tape. Gaffer tape. I'm gonna have to. I have to phone a friend. Okay, you want to phone a friend? 
Now let's call them, but remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. I, bureaucracy, I've never heard that also. Never have, at all. Fine, let's spend a thing. Bureaucracy is basically wasting time. Okay, um, one so, away from your first do you say to them, look, you're just wasting so much red tape? Is, is that? Or you're causing so much red tape? What is it? Which period of time is based on the Earth spinning once on its axis? Oh, Lord. Day. Week. Because I can throw out about this question. Okay, you want to go 50 50? Use your lifeline computer. Take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So it looks like it's A or D. Okay. It's got to be D then, right? I think it's not D. I think so, because I think I chose D before, thinking that the earth spins round once a year, but I. Pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's day. Well done, you just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. Yay! Woohoo! Fantastic! Alright, cool. Let's continue. There we go. Oh, well done, you got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. Bad, have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Alright, let's see. All's Fair in Love and War is an example of which type of saying? Slogan. Proverb. Simile. Palindrome. Slogan is someone's catchphrase. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go with proverb. I may be wrong, but at least I'll say I tried. At least I can say I tried. I'm gonna go with proverb. Congratulations! Yay! You've got two. Woohoo! That's it. Boom. Let's keep going. I just only hope that the game doesn't freeze on me. That's all. <laughs> You're doing brilliantly. You got two thousand pounds, but take a look at this next question for four thousand. All right. In which city is the football club Queens Park Rangers based? Oh, I've heard of them before. London, Glasgow, Manchester, Liverpool. What my first thing is St Helens London, but it's St Helens. Can't stop the last million. I think I might do. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, right, this is your lifeline. You've made a choice to ask the audience. Audience, if you would please, put your fingers on your keypads. Let's try and help out. Answer A, B, C, or D, please, now. Okay, so now you also think London. Okay. Well, now they seem very confident it's A. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? I think it's A also, so we're going to go with A. Are you happy with that? Yep. Congratulations. Yay! Woohoo! 
congratulations, you just won $4,000. We could have got, I, I mean, we could have saved that price plane, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I tell you, okay? Alright. Best to be a wise man, okay, not a foolish man. Question eight coming up being rude, of course. Take your time on this, you don't have to play. Here it comes. Which of these would often be shown with a halo in a painting? Horse. Servant. Monarch. Angel. That would be an angel. Angel. Is that your final answer? Yes, I've got an angel on my Christmas tree, an angel hanging from my roof. It's the angel final answer. You had £4,000. You should have walked away. You didn't. You've now got £8,000. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Yes. Yes, sir. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Okay. Which palace is the official London home of the Primate of All England? St James's. Kensington. Lambeth. Buckingham. Which home is the official London? Which palace is the official London home of all the prime of the primates of all England? I want to say Buckingham. You know, I'm feeling really good today, and I won't mind if I get this question wrong. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with Buckingham. Are you happy with your answer? I'm. I'm feeling good. Let's go for it. Buckingham Palace. Final answer. You had £8,000, you've just lost £7,000, ah. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. What is it then? Lambeth. <laughs> so you're leaving us today with a cheque for £1,000, you're not leaving empty handed. Uh, well done, please come back soon and try for hopefully lots more next time around on Who Wants To Be A Millionaire. Hey, I am not ashamed in the slightest, I'm feeling good. I will take a £1,000 any day. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Love you all and goodbye.